How's the elevator business? Mr. Deeds asked the butler, on which butler answered, ah, there are some ups and downs. One of the most important equipment on a construction high-rise building site is a temporary personnel hoist. We call it construction material hoist or a man hoist, or simply a hoist, moving workers and material through the building floors. We would never want the hoist to be down because it's unsafe and very expensive for the project. Imagine that you're a part of a 50-story high-rise build where a man and material hoist is in constant movement. A licensed operator must have great communication skills on the radio, understanding priorities, know the scheduling for the site for the material delivery, and urgent pickups and drop-offs. I would like to share with you some of the important knowledge that is applicable here. A. The operator of the hoist must be at least 18 years of age. B. A worker must be licensed and do a daily safety inspection using their checklist. C. A hoist cannot be overloaded in excess of its maximum capacity. D. A licensed operator will make sure that a swing stage, window washer, scaffolding, or any similar type of equipment will not be located within 3 meters or 10 feet from the hoist unless it's guarded in accordance with the safety code. E. Hoist must not be operated when the wind speed exceeds 60 km an hour or the operation of the hoist found to be unsafe by a licensed operator. With an overwhelming workload in construction, the hiring process and ensuring that their training fits the industry standards is paramount. The following is crucial to know. A. The operator's license may be refused, suspended, or canceled if the safety manager considers that the competency level, skill, or training isn't sufficient. B. The operator that operates the elevating device unsafely. C. Operates an elevating device that was sealed by an inspector. D. Allowing to employ unlicensed operator. E. Knowingly makes the false statements in any documents required by the regulations. F. Fails to comply with directions of a safety officer, obstructs, impedes, or interferes with a safety officer. As you can see, most of the points were made here is about the decision of a licensed operator. That is the hoist operator who will make sure that the highest safety and production is achieved while the person is operating the hoist. With these awesome workers, the construction life is a lot better, faster, and less expensive. Have you gotten your hoist ticket to uh, enter this vibrant field and work with multiple trades? And if you're an employer, wouldn't you want to have an amazing hoist operator who's a mover and shaker and takes their work seriously while enjoying the trip with the trades up and down constructing the building soon to be a home for many families? Contact us today, earn more money, and build a successful career.